Hi everyone. Sorry I haven't made a video in ages. I've been very busy with moving house and everything. Uh, but anyway, um, this was a request from Corey Chen. So I suggest you pause the video here and read through this and have a go at the question. All right, so the first thing I did was set n to be one and see what happens see what happens when we apply this rule here. So f of f of f of 1 is n plus 2 if n is even uh, and n plus 4 is n if n is odd. So we'll use this one since n is 1 and that's odd. So that will be 1 plus 4. Now f of 1 we know is 2 so we've got f of f of 2 is 5 and we also know f of 2 is 3 so this is f of 3 is 5. Okay so that's that's good we got some information out of that um, and then maybe let's try n equals 2 see what we get out of that so f of f of f of 2 is now n is even, so we use this rule, so 2 plus 2, and we know f of 2 is 3, and we also know f of 3 is 5, so this just becomes f of 5, and that equals 4. All right, and then maybe we try n equals 3, so f of f of f of 3, Uh, we use the odd rule, so 3 plus 4. And we've got f of 3 was 5, and f of 5 was 4, so this is f of 4. All right, so once I sort of got the hang of that, what I started doing was, was writing them down just like um, 1 maps to 2. So this notation you may not have seen before, it's sort of an arrow with a little vertical line on the end, um, which this is just the same thing as saying like f of 1 is 2. Um, okay, so 1 maps to 2, 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 5. So this is just a bit more succinct than, than this notation which makes it a bit easier to write out a whole bunch of them. Uh, 5 maps to 4, 4 maps to 7. And now this is a lot easier because what we're really doing is um, the n is like, if I want to work out f of 5, say, the, the n is 2 up in this little table. So you'd look at at the 2 there and then apply this rule to that, so um, 2 plus 2, so like that. And then to get f of 4, you look up two rows, um, so the n is 3, and we apply this rule, 3 plus 4, we get to 7. So this is going to let us do these really quickly. So if we want to know what 7 maps to, we go up to the 5, we apply the rule, 5 plus 4, so that's 9. And then 9 maps to, we look at the 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, and, you know, and so on. So 7 plus 4, 11, 11 maps to 9 plus 4, so 13, 13 would map to uh, 6 plus 2, so 8. And then what I decided to do, um, a really good idea with all sorts of problem solving questions is just to try to draw a picture. Um, so what I decided to do with this was just like write out all the numbers, one, two, three, four, like in order, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then um, draw arrows between them to show this information. So 1 maps to 2, 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 5, 5 maps like going backwards, so I decided to draw that on top rather than underneath. 
Ah, and then we've got four maps to seven, seven maps to nine, nine maps back to six, six goes to eleven, eleven goes to thirteen, thirteen goes back to eight. Now looking at this, it's a lot easier to like see the patterns in it. So what jumped out to me was like from five, we go back one. So I'm gonna say negative one. From nine, we go back three. And from 13, we go back five. So that looks like a, a pattern there. This is going up by four. So like the next one presumably is from 17, we go back seven. So let's see if we can get to that. Let's see if that theory is correct. So uh, continuing with this, eight would be 11 plus four, so 15. 15 would be uh, 13 plus four, so 17. And then 17 would be the eight plus two, so 10. And that is back seven, so that seems to be correct. Um, <clears throat> now you can see other things like all the even ones, they also have a sort of a pattern where two goes up to three, so that's plus one, four goes up to seven, so that's plus three, six goes up to 11, so that's plus five, and so on. So there's a pattern with those as well. And then with uh, the other odd ones, so like um, three goes up to, seven goes up to, um, 11 goes up to. So it seems to be based on which one of these categories it falls into. So really we wanna know if 777, which one of these is it gonna be? Um, so I would think of this as like, these are the ones that are multiples of four plus one. So like, uh, they're the numbers which when you divide them by four, you've got a remainder of one. Whereas these have a remainder of three when you divide by four, and these are the even ones. So we've got to work out like the remainder when 777 is divided by four. So let's figure that out. Um, as goes once, remain of three, four into 37 is nine times remain of one, and then four into 17 is four times remain of one. So that puts 777 in this category. So now we just gotta like come up with a rule um, that's gonna allow us to figure that out. So these numbers are like in the form 4n plus one, where n is uh, one for this one, two, three, four, like that. Um, and then what's happening here is that we've got, well, the negative of two n minus one. So just, I mean, I'm really just sort of kind of taking a guess and then checking it in my head, like it's going to be either 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1 to get odd numbers and then I'm just sort of checking, so 2 times 1 minus 1 gives the 1, so that's correct. 2 times the 2 minus 1 gives the 3. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so that seems to be the rule. So 777 is four times 194 plus one. That's what the division is telling us. So the N is 194. And then we just gotta work out, well, actually what we could do is work out um, the number that it maps to is the original number minus this. So four N plus one minus two N minus one. We could simplify that first. That might make things easier. So that goes to 2n plus 2. So we just need to work out 2 times 194 plus 2. So that would make that, so 390. 
Now, this isn't a proof at all. Um, that would probably be enough for me um, in, in the maths competition. I wouldn't really bother to prove it. But if you did want to prove it, you could, you could probably use induction, um, mathematical induction. Now, I thought it would be fun to actually check that answer uh, with a computer program. So I just wrote this little thing in Python, which is going to you know, find f of n for a bunch of different numbers. Um, so for anyone who's interested in programming and maths, you can read through that if you like. So I'll just run that little program. And it's telling me f of 777 is 390, like I found before.